So today we're looking at a 1960 Wheel Horse Suburban 400. As you can see, I, I don't think it's ever been painted. And I didn't want to ruin that patina, so I just put some linseed oil on it. Of course, I kind of sanded it down first to knock the rough stuff off, but it's actually a really solid... I mean, there's no holes or anything anywhere on this tractor. It's it's real solid. It's just got a lot of patina. Yeah, original four horsepower Kohler engine. The only thing not original was the gas tank. I, unfortunately, the old one was so rusted out, there was no saving it. And those steel tanks, even a used one, you're always going to get those little rust particles. And The old sediment bowl would have caught a lot of that, but I didn't want to risk. You know, the carbs are kind of hard to get out on these, so I didn't want to mess that up. Yeah, she's all there. I got the deck and everything for it. All the guards. I just don't have it mounted right now. Even this little deck lift still works. Still got the cable. It still lifts. Works perfectly. Three-speed tranny. All that works great. Uh, the only thing I tell you guys on these older wheel horses, I'm not sure about the newer ones, but I tell you that belt guard right here, without that you will grind your gears and you'll ruin your transmission. I mean that is the most important uh, part of the tractor for sure. It, something about the way it holds the belt flat inside there, it keeps it from spinning. Uh, I mean, they're designed to have that guard. It's it's tr so crucial. And even if you got that little tab that's inside the the guard that goes up next to the pulley, that's that's not enough. You got to have the guard on there. That's just kind of one lesson I learned over the years uh, with these older wheel horses. Um, yeah, I just hate to see anyone. Uh, be grinding gears and stuff in those transmissions. I mean, that's the only thing that'll wreck that transmission is grinding the gears. Otherwise, they'll last forever. So, but either way, I really, really like uh, the way that aluminum tank fits in there. I, I think it looks nice. I don't know. That's just me. Maybe you think it looks crazy. I don't know. But I really liked it. I, I guess we'll fire it up and see see how it drives. Let's see here.
Well, it runs. Not bad for an old timer. Yeah, it actually ran pretty good. I was, uh, it goes faster than I expected. It feels kind of fast in third gear, so that's always fun. But either way, I think I'm going to take her for a spin for a while and try to kind of break it in. I haven't really ran it much yet, so either way, Suburban 400, thanks for watching.